Welcome to the Sales Hunter Podcast. I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Today I'm talking about, do you have a lead or do you have a prospect? Let me tell you something, way too much time is being wasted spending it with leads. You want to only be spending your time with prospects. I'm going to get into the differences, going to get into the reason why when the show begins right after this. You're listening to the Sales Hunter Podcast with Mark Hunter, where the focus is to help you as a sales leader sell with confidence and integrity. And now here's your host. Hey, I'm excited to be talking about this subject of lead versus prospect, but let me tell you something about something else that I'm even more excited about. May 24th, Sales Logic Live. You know, I do another podcast with Meredith Elliott Powell every Saturday morning called Sales Logic. Well, we're doing Sales Logic Live from contact to close. Hey, I'm going to put the registration link in the show notes below. I want you to check it out because I'll tell you what, this is going to be an event and it's going to be live in person in Dallas, Texas or streamed to wherever you are in the world. But anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about right now, lead versus prospect. Don't confuse the two. Hey, let me tell you something right now. A lead is a name you've been led to believe has potential. You know the terms, you know, MQL, SQL, marketing qualified lead versus sales qualified lead. Right there is where things break down. And this is this is the big this is a big problem because here's the deal. Marketing will always be quick to say that any name is a marketing qualified lead. Why not? Because chances are that they're they're getting credit for that. And that lead may come to them because they downloaded an ebook or they they checked out a webinar or something like that. Hey, that's not much of a qualification because you know that person could be a student, could be unemployed, could simply be curious. It doesn't necessarily make them qualified to be a prospect. So that's where we get in this whole issue of, of SQL. Now, I'm not trying to throw MQLs under the bus. I'm not trying to throw marketing under the bus. But marketing has a different definition. Sales has a definition that says, I want to have a body attached to it. I, I, I want to have some contact information. I want to have some basis for this. That's the SQL. But let me tell you something. Just having an SQL where you know the contact's name, you know the contact person, that in and of itself isn't good enough because here's the whole thing. Here's the whole thing. But if, if that is all I know, they could be nothing but a suspect and not a prospect. Now, what's the big difference? See, and the SQL typically means you've got a verified contact information and the person or company they work for fits into your ICP. They may have even posed a question about a specific item that, you know, fits what you sell. Hey, great. But we still got to drill down deeper. Here's the deal. The lead, the MQL or the SQL, SQL becomes a prospect when you know three things. This is where you got to pay attention. Three things. One, do they fit into your ICP or a market that you can properly service? That's critical. Two, They've expressed a need you can help them with. And three, they've expressed a timeline with which they intend to make a decision. Those three things will move you from being a lead to a suspect to a prospect. Let me go through those three again. They fit your ICP, your ideal customer profile, or a market that you can properly service. Two, they've expressed a need you can help them with. And three, they've expressed a timeline. This is key, a timeline with which they intend to make a decision. Let's kind of break these down a little more. See, it's at this point, they're now a prospect. But failing to garner that information, get answers to those three questions, means they're just a suspect. And again, this is the problem. See, the reason knowing these three things are important is because it's your job to spend as much time as possible with your qualified prospects and not spend time with those who just merely express an interest. And that's what too many MQLs turn out to be. And that's what a lot of SQLs turn out to be. Now, you don't have time to waste. Your goal is to focus on selling. And that means having qualified prospects. One thing you might be saying is, Mark, when you went through those three, they didn't include having money or if they're qualified to buy. You're right. That information is not a requirement of a prospect. Whoa. I know. Some of, I just blew some people's minds there with that. But let me explain what I mean here by this. I hold firm to these three things for a very simple reason. 
if I understand that they have a need, they have a timeline, and they fit who I can service, then I'm going to be able to ferret out from them. I'm going to be able to drill down in my conversations. I'm going to be able to find more information that's going to help me understand whether or not they do have budget and and if I'm dealing with the right person. And now here's the whole thing. If there's a need, I'm going to be able to find the right person in the company. If there's a need, I'm going to be able to find a person who's got budget. So I don't let those things stop me at the prospecting phase. I, I don't move through to the close process, but but it helps me right here initially. People are starting to chime in with some, yes, timeliness is absolutely critical. Because again, what happens is too many salespeople will get caught up. The, comp the company, the person may have a need, but unless it's critical for them to make this decision now, they don't buy. And this is why the timeline is so critical. Yeah, we, we got, you know, is, is, is Bant really useful? Bant is useful, but I don't feel it necessarily fits in a perfect world that we live in today. And again, I'll, I'll unpack this some more. Hey, he, here's, here's the whole situation. It's, it's I want to find out one thing from them. I want to find out whether or not this need that they have is critical enough for it to be one of their number one or number two priorities. The marketplace that we're in today has companies focused and has people focused on really only dealing with the absolute most critical piece. Think about it. It's probably the same way in your own home. There may be things that you want to do, but for one reason or another, you just don't do it because it's not a critical priority. And that's okay. So what I got to do is I got to focus in. But when I do that, it's amazing how it trumps budget. Now, he, here's the whole thing that I that I love about time versus money. Time trumps everything. Time will time will absolutely if time is of the essence, they will find the budget. I see too many salespeople. What they do is they is they early on they disqualify prospects because they don't feel they have budget. Focus on the time, and it's amazing at what will happen for you. Now, what's the whole premise behind this? It's about doing one thing and one thing only. You are going to be able to close more deals if you focus on better prospects, and you qualify those prospects early by not focusing on the leads, not focusing on the MQL, not throwing marketing under the bus, but by focusing on just the three critical answers I went through or the three critical questions that you have to answer. Do they have a timeline? What's their critical need? And what was that third one? Remember that third one I said? Yeah, because here's the whole thing. It is all about understanding whether or not they fit your critical market. Because they may have a need. They may have a timeline. But if it doesn't fit your critical market, I don't want to go down that road. Hey, I want to say thank you for listening to Sales, the Sales Hunter podcast this week. Every week, I get to bring you two episodes, one a short one like this, and one a longer one where we do a deep dive interview with a leading sales expert. Hey, here's the deal. I do want you to check out Sales Logic Live. Meredith Elliott Powell and I, we were just talking on the phone about this. We're excited. May 24th, Dallas, Texas. I'm going to put the link in the show notes below, but I want to see you there, either live in person in Dallas or online. Hey, my name is Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Great selling.